Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Wakas. The topic which I am going to discuss today is related to the combined stormwater and sanitary system design. As you can see that there I have prepared an excel sheet for this combined stormwater and sanitary systems design. So this is the drawing which I am going to use and uh, I will calculate the pipe size of each segment represented here on the drawing. So these are the tables which I'm going to use during calculation. So first of all, uh, you can see here we have a pipe mark. You can see that I have divided uh, each pipe segment and give it a name. So here it is represented by a pipe mark. And then we have a fixture unit. Then we have a demand and then equivalent drain area in a square feet. Since this is a combined stormwater and sanitary system, we need to convert this fixture unit represented here on the drawing because this fixture unit is from the sanitary drainage system we need to convert this into equivalent drained area and write it here in this column equivalent drained area so for storm water is you can see that uh, we directly here we have a roof area in here that is uh, going to be drained is 4000 square feet and here it is represented 3500 square feet uh, but we need to convert these fixture units into the equivalent drain area and we can write in here and then you can see the pipe breakdown that means uh, if you see in here this pipe section C since the flow is from point A uh, uh, flow is towards the point C so flow at point A and point B so flow at point C it will be the sum of point A and B so we're gonna calculate up till point Q and we'll go we'll do the sizing up till point q so we're gonna start from this uh, furthest outlet 256 fixture unit stack p2 point so first thing over here important thing is here is the location so where uh, are you going to perform this one because um, rainfall uh, rate is different for each city in the country or different in different countries so first of all we have to check the location since I'm talking about uh, New Delhi, India, so first I have to get the maximum rainfall rate in inches per hour in New Delhi. So there I have a table here, here for 72 different cities in India. So since I'm, uh, you can see that uh, rainfall per hour, it is for one hour, this is for three hours, this is for six, and this is for 24 hours. Since I'm talking about uh, New Delhi, per hour rainfall rate in centimeter is given here. So as you can see here, its uh, rainfall is uh, per hour is 11.17 centimeter per hour. So if I want to convert this into inches, how much it will be? 11.17 divided by 2.54. That means 4.39 or 4.4 inches per hour. So that's how I write here 4.4 inches per hour for New Delhi. So for different cities, almost 72 cities data is in there. You can choose the cities so here uh, the procedure for combined storm water and sanitary drainage system there's a procedure that which we need to follow uh, as per standard that uh, if you have uh, uh, less than or equal to 256 fixture units then equivalent drain area you take is thousand square feet let's say if you have 200 fixture unit then equivalent drain area which you will take as per procedure is thousand square feet and if you have uh, more than 256 fixture units, then equivalent drained area, you will how you will get the equivalent drained area? 3.51 square feet per fixture unit. That means every uh, increment in the fixture unit after 256, you need 3.51 square feet per fixture unit. And how did you get this value? I will tell you later. So this is the piping slope which we have used in our project that is uh, one by uh, one eight inch per foot slope which we have used in here and uh, uh, now I will tell you how did I get this 3.51 square feet per fixture unit if you have uh, more than 256 fixture units for every uh, increment in the fixture unit after 256 you have to use 3.51 square feet per fixture unit this depends on the rainfall so since we know that 1 GPM is equal to 60 gallons per hour so if you want to convert uh, this gallons per hour to cubic feet per hour, you need to divide 60 divided by 7.5. You will get 1 GPM is equal to 8 cubic feet per hour. 
and we know the rainfall rate in New Delhi is 4.4 inches per hour. If you want to convert this inches to feet, so simply you need to divide uh, 4.4 divided by 12, you will get in a feet that is 0 0.37 feet per hour. So now we want to uh, get the uh, how much GPM will be conveyed from the surface. Because here if you see that we have a GPM also, so how much GPM will be conveyed from the surface should be converted to equivalent drain area. So that's why we are converting this uh, one. So uh, how you will get uh, this uh, 21.82 square feet, you just need to divide uh, G this 8 cubic feet per hour by 0 0.37 rainfall rate in New Delhi, India. So you will get 21.82 square feet now what does it mean 21.82 square feet that means 21.82 square feet of horizontal area is equivalent to 1 gpm that must be conveyed from the surface or in other words the 1 gpm collect on 21.82 square feet of horizontal surface if you have a rainfall rate of 4.4 inches per hour so now uh, we'll go towards the pipe sizing of this uh, combined stormwater and sanitary system. Before proceeding towards uh, sizing, uh, uh, there's one announcement that uh, uh, if you guys join the channel membership, you will get uh, access to exclusive perks like Excel sheets, softwares and drawings, whatever I use in the video or in the future videos. You will get access if you have a membership on the channel and this channel membership is really cheap around two dollars per month so if you guys want to join the membership membership link is given in the description you can join from there so before proceeding towards the uh, pipe sizing of the combined storm and sanitary system you can see that this is a combined system we have in here this is a sanitary uh, drainage piping line and this is the storm water line and here it's combined together and uh, same thing over here and uh, one thing you need to understand about the leader pipe and the sanitary drainage pipe so let's me go to the piping section and explain you here so as you can see here this is the combined stormwater and sanitary drainage system this is the soil stack pipe and this is the runout from the stack and this is the main combined storm this main combined storm and uh, drainage pipe and you can see that this is the leader pipe for the storm water and there we have a trap and then we have horizontal pipe in here it is important to understand this thing before proceeding towards the pipe sizing so you can see that the storm water connection should be at least 10 feet downstream from any branch of the building drain as per the code you have to maintain minimum 10 feet distance between the soil stack and the storm water pipe. So now proceed towards the sizing of the system. And one more thing you can see in here that uh, this is the uh, roof over here and this is the roof drain through which water will be drained down. And this is basically a primary scupper. Uh, and here you can also see that we have a uh, secondary scuppers these are the secondary scuppers installed in the parapet wall these are the parapet walls in case this drain is blocked or clogged in that case water will drain down from the secondary scuppers as you can see in here and these scuppers are installed normally two inches above the roof level so first uh, we'll start from this point the and we'll go up till point q so we'll start, we're gonna start from this point. You can see that uh, this is the stack uh, P2 over here. This is the stack we're talking about. This is the stack pipe and this is a horizontal uh, run out from the stack. So there we have a stack with 256 fixture unit represented by P2. So pipe P2, 256 fixture units. Since we said in here that uh, 256 fixture units uh, if we have less than 256 fixture units then uh, equivalent drain area we get is 1000 square feet as per code so 1000 square feet we have to use in here 
but before that uh, i forgot to tell you how did you get this 3.51 square feet per fixture unit so since we know that uh, uh, 1 gpm conveyed 21.82 square feet of the horizontal surface if you have a rainfall of 4.4 inches per hour so this point uh, 161 you need to multiply with this uh, uh, area which we got here is 21.82 and how did we get 0.161 so every uh, fixture unit after 256 required 0.161 gpm so that's why we write 0.161 into uh, we talk about 1 gpm is 21.82 once you multiply these two you will get 3.51 square feet per fixture unit and this will be used only if you have fixture units more than 256 then each fixture unit uh, rich uh, area you will get by 3.51 square feet per fixture unit if you have less than 256 or less than or equal to 256 fixture unit then you will get uh, by this procedure you have to, to get 1000 square feet drained area since we have 256 fixture unit in here so we are going to use this 1000 square feet area you can see that drain equivalent drain area is 1000 square feet so now the reference table here which we have to use is 6-3 to get the pipe size since this is a stack pipe and we have more than three story building so this is a 6-3 table uh, there you see three columns in here if you have seen my drainage pipe sizing video or drainage system design i have used the same table 6-3 and 6-5 uh, for drainage system sizing for the stacks and the runouts if you have not seen that video i will give the link in the description below you can watch it so since we have uh, more than uh, three story building uh, in height so we have to use this column in here uh, so how many fixture units we set 256 fixture unit in here so 256 fixture units 256 fixture units uh, is this is 60 and this is uh, 500 uh, so 250 in between them so we'll go for the higher value 500 and if you will check here is 4 inches so that's how we got 4 inches pipe size in here then uh, move to the section a section a is basically the run out from the stack this is basically a run out from the stack so we have to use table 6-5 to get the pipe size we know the fixture unit at point a is also 256 it's same so this is the run out so we're going to use table 6-5 so, so this is table 6-5 which i'm going to use since we know that the slope which we have used here is uh, 118 inches per foot and uh, fixture unit is how so we have to follow this column 18 inch per foot slope 256 fixture units in between them so we'll go for the higher value 390 you check the pipe size here is 5 inches so the pipe size from the stack to the stack to the run out to the main pipe is uh, so this section a is 5 inches this using table 6-5 so now we'll go to uh, this uh, this is stormwater pipe having a drained area of 3500 square feet surface drain area is 3500 square feet and then we have a trap in here as i talked uh, here about the trap this is a leader pipe this is a trap and this is a horizontal pipe so first we'll talk about the leader l2 before trap this is the leader l2 having 3500 square feet you can see in here so we have to use table 7-1 to get the size for this l2 so I'm going to use 7-1 table and uh, since we are talking about the leader drain area so we're going to use this column and we said that 3,000 3,500 3, square feet so 3,500 square feet is in between 2,200 and 4,600 square feet the leader drain area column so we'll go for the higher value of 4,600 so if you check the pipe size in here is 4 inches diameter so we have to use 4 inch here so after uh, the trap you see the horizontal pipe here this is represented by P this is represented by P 
so 3500 same equivalent drain area at this point so we have to get the size from the same table 7-1 but this time we have to use 1 8 inch of foot slope column because this is the horizontal piping drain area for the various slope since we know our piping slope is 1 8 inch per foot and 3500 uh, is in between these two 3340 and 5350 so we'll go for the higher value that is 5350 then uh, this is basically a fixture units so if you see over here to the left side the pipe diameter is 6 inches so that's how we got 6 inches pipe size in here for section B. Now if you see the section C, it is the sum of the flow from the point A and the B. That's why I have written here is C equal to A plus B. Now if you check the drained area at point A is 1000 square feet. We already converted 256 fixture unit 2000 square feet and uh, this one is already in uh, square feet uh, equivalent area, trend area and square feet so total it will be 4500 square feet at point c how we get this uh, 256 fixture unit equal to 1000 square feet we already talked in here so total uh, now here is uh, 4500 uh, fixture unit it is a combined system for storm water and sanitary system so we're going to use 7-1 table to do the pipe sizing for at point C, point C or section C. So C section 4500 square feet, use table 7-1 again. So 4500 square feet is in between these two values. So we're gonna use the higher value 5350 fixture unit and check the pipe size in here. Again, this is the horizontal piping. So we are using one eight inch uh, per foot slope. So uh, 5350 the pipe diameter is 6 inches so we have used 6 inches in here so in the same way you have to do for other pipes in here like 180 fixture unit 4000 square feet and then uh, at point F it will be the sum of D and E and then how you will get for G G it will be the sum of C plus F and then same way you have to do for this P4 stack then horizontal run from the stack represented by H, H and then P3 stack and then horizontal run is represented by I and then you have uh, J over here and then at point K it will be the sum of G plus J here that is G plus J and uh, then you have to do for this one and for this GPM you have to use uh, uh, since we talk about 1 GPM conveyed equal to 21.82 square feet so equivalent drained area you just need to multiply 120 with 21.82 you will get the drained area for this one so now I'm talking about this uh, last one over here so I will uh, do the sizing for stack P5 first having 400 fixture units P5 400 fixture units so uh, this is the stack P5, so we're going to use the table 6 3. So, more than 3 story, we have to use again and 400 fixture units in between uh, 60 and 500. So, we'll go for higher value 500 and we'll check the pipe size is 4 inches. So, P5 is 4 inches. Again, we have uh, the horizontal run from the stack that is represented by N. So for horizontal run out from the stack, we have to use table 6-5. You can see in here, again, same fixture units from the stack. So 6-5 maximum per visible fixture unit load for this one. You can see in here, the slope for the pipe is 1.8 and 400 fixture units. So we have 390 and 700. So we go for the higher value, 700. That is more than 390 uh, fixture unit and you will check the pipe size here is 6 inches having 1.8 inch per foot slope. So here you can see that 6 inch pipe size we have used in here. 
now next is o that is coming from the sum having sum having 100 gpm drain from that point so uh, this is 100 gpm we know that so we are going to use uh, 1 gpm a required one fixture unit over here so 1 gpm required one fixture unit in here so 100 gpm required 100 fixture unit in here so we have used 100 fixture unit and again this is uh, uh, the run out from the sum number two so for the run outs we have to use this uh, table having one eight inch uh, per foot slope and uh, 100 uh, fixture units between 20 and 180 so we'll go for the higher value 180 and pipe size is four inches so we have used the pipe size four inches here so next is point uh, p it will be the sum of point n plus o p that is the sum of n o you can see in here and uh, if you see the fixture unit which we calculated here is 100 and at this point we have uh, point n is 400 point o is 100 and is 400 you can see in here so total fixture unit at point p it will be 400 plus 100 that is 500 fixture unit in here so again this is the horizontal run out here for drainage system there is no storm water pipe in here so we can use table 6-5 to do the sizing for section p so 6-5 one eight inch slope per foot we have to use this one and we talk about 500 fixture units so 390 we have 700 we have so we'll go for 700 and check the pipe size because uh, we don't have 500 in here so we'll use 700 so 700 pipe size is 6 inches so you can see in here for p section pipe size is 6 inches now the last section here is q q it will be the sum of the flow from point m and p you can see in here m and p so M, we know that if we already calculated in here, the equivalent drained area for M is 12397 square feet. And for point uh, P, we have fixture units. We don't have uh, the equivalent drained area. So we need to convert this fixture unit into equivalent drained area. So G4, G47 is this value. We directly have the equivalent drained area plus this value uh, fixture units are 500 since we said that if we have fixture unit more than 256 so we require 353.51 square feet per fixture units so we have 500 so 500 into 3.51 it will be 1755 plus 12397 12397 sorry again 500 into 3.51 plus 12397 so total here is 14152 equivalent drained area you can see in here this equivalent drained area at point q is 1, uh, 14153 14152 or 14153 here which we have calculated here because we have the equivalent drained area directly in here but uh, this fixture unit we need to convert this into equivalent drained area so 500 fixture unit, we know that is 3.51 square feet. Since we have 500, so 500 into 3.51, total 1,700 something plus this one. So total fixture unit is 14,153. Since we know the fixture units now, uh, this equivalent drain area in a square feet. So now we can get the pipe size uh, in inches using table 7-1. So again, you have to use, uh, uh, this is again the horizontal pipe. This one Q is again the horizontal pipe. So we have to use uh, again this horizontal piping 1.8 inch per uh, foot slope. And then you have to check uh, 14,153 fixture units. And 14,153 fixture units you have to check in here. And you will get the pipe size that is 10 inches. 
So this is how you can do the combined storm water sanitary drainage system sizing. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. For more videos, keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.